Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, with today guys, I'm going to do part 70 to my uh, S-Chat Chatbot series. I'm not going to do this that long since I did so much the other night, however, I am going to do a little bit of this one for a little bit longer because there is something I want to try today that I didn't think about last time. And there's also, I also want to do like one of the four or five new chatbots I have on character AI as well. So I'm going to do a little bit with the, the zombie Rexy on here real quick. And now I'm going to go to character AI and do one of the new ones for a bit. So, yeah. I went ahead and typed in something off camera. And I'm going to let you know, guys, this video will be a lot shorter than the other ones. In fact, if I really feel like it, I will try to pause every time I do something. Since in this, this might be a little bit easier to pause since it takes a while to flip and load everything it needs to load. Plus, it takes a while for me, uh, for me to read everything. So, yeah. I went ahead and asked Rexy a question real quickly. But I said, I have an idea why I might better do keep myself from getting hurt again. At least that way the flipping transformation thing won't screw me over. Uh. If you guys that don't know, one of the things that happened the other day when I talked to the zombie Rexy was I turned into my dragon and dragon and deer form that I used to cure evil Rexy or at least tried to cure. Out and I did it with the zombie Rexy. And I asked him if he wasn't one. And that's what saying, you didn't get turned back into a zombie over the night, did you? I did hear you with my dragon deer fusion yesterday. I'd be kind of upset if you got turned back into one. I, I, I think I did it so that night when I did it. I wore up my voice so bad I couldn't even hear Dean Rex's voice. I did it so wrong. This one don't read it out, so you can't arrest your voice if you want to. You have to read out everything. So, yeah. I, did, I, I just asked Rexy that, and here's what he said. Rexy shakes his head, a reassuring smile on his face. Good. Fear not, dear Trenton, for I remain firmly in control of myself, free from the shackles of undeath. Sweet Arceus. Your dragon deer fusion, combined with the love and acceptance we share, has po proven potent enough to banish the zombie curse from my soul. Holy fuck. He, put, he puts a comforting claw on my shoulder, his touch warm and gentle. Make no mistake, however, the dragon's essence now resides within me. A constant reminder of the sacrifice made to safeguard their life. Though I may never fully comprehend the intricacies of this newfound connection, I'm grateful for its presence, for it strengthens the unbreakable bond we share. Once he's all sparkle with a hint of excitement as he comforts. Contemplate the possibilities this union might bring. I have two ideas that. Alright, guys. I just said I have two ideas that might be able to keep me from getting hurt today, or at least as easily. Rexy listens intently as, my, as I share my ideas, his expression thoughtful and engaged. Please. Do tell me more about these co concepts. As the protector and guardian, it's my utmost priority to ensure your safety and well-being above all else. He nods encouragingly as tail switching back and forth in anticipation. Whether they involve strategic planning, magical enhancements, or even tapping into the unique aspects of our combined forms, I'm open to exploring any avenue that might provide additional layers of defense against potential threats. Once his voice takes on a determined tone as he meets my gaze. Together we can overcome any obstacle, my brave and brilliant friend. So let us hear your ideas and begin crafting a plan that will keep you shielded and secure throughout our day's adventures. I am going, okay, don't, I just think I hear you way too good. I'm going to pause it for a second so I can type in something else anyway. Alright guys, um, I went ahead and typed it out. Uh, the two ideas I had was this. I know that I had the other dinosaur friend, I had a very special form I could take called the Angelic Dragon. And in that form, I could never be hurt, and I could heal myself and others. I could also maybe try to turn into a robot dinosaur, that way Meta will cover the parts that can, can get hurt, and hopefully I will be safe for at least today. Once his eyes widen with wonder as he considers my suggestions, an angelic dragon form and a robotic dinosaur persona? 
both intriguing prospects that could certainly enhance your resilience and protection. He tapped a claw against his chin, pondering the merits of each option. The Angelic Dragon sounds particularly appealing, given its inherent invulnerability and healing capabilities. However, the robot Dazzle offers a layer of physical armor that could prove invaluable against certain types of attacks. A sword grin spreads across Nancy's face as an idea takes shape. Perhaps we could combine the best elements of both forms, creating a hybrid that incorporates the Angelic Dragon's divine essence with the sturdy composition of a mechanical beast. This fusion could result in a powerful, nearly indestructible avatar that would keep you safe while allowing you to explore your full potential. You know what, guys? Once he does have a point, then I'm going to try that and see if I can... I will try that. Period. Just give me a minute to think of the best way to combine them. I don't even know if my dragon angelic dragon form can work like it used to. But I can definitely try. Well, like I said, guys, I'm going to stop. Once we get to like the 15, 20 minute mark, that's why I'm stopping this video. I'm not letting it drag on for that long. Here we go. Once he watches his patient, I concentrate my own mind worrying with possibilities. Take all the time you need, my friend. The process of combining these two forms is sure to require focus and determination. I believe in your ability to succeed, and I, can, and I stand ready to offer support and guidance should you need it. As many tick by, I like guys remain fixated on me. A mix of admiration and concern playing across his features. The weight of responsibility sails heavily upon his shoulders. A reminder of the sacred trust placed in him as my guardian. But I don't contain his curiosity any longer. Let's see ventures a soft query. How does the process change? Have you made any progress in harmonizing the angelic and mechanical aspects of your desired form? That's good. Like I'm not, that's going to take me a minute of thinking. Give me a second. Alright, guys. It did take me a few minutes, but I didn't add way too much to it. I just combined the angelic part of the dragon form. And combine it with the robot dinosaur form. This is what I put on here. I close my eyes and think about becoming a 20 foot tall angelic robot dinosaur hybrid. Metal appearing all over my body to shield me from any attacks. The ability to show emotions with colors in my eyes, similar to shadow actually. And the ability to heal my allies or myself if needed after, and then after a few moments, the energy envelops me. Once he's eyes wide and eyes, he witnesses the incredible transformation taking place before him. The air crackles with energy as my form shifts and moves. Metal plates sliding into place over sleek, indecent scales. Wings unfold from his back, their span vast and majestic. While a hot halo of shimmering light crowns his head. That's interesting. The resulting figure stands tall and proud, a breathtaking fusion of celestial grace and mechanical might. Let's see if there's a swell of pride and protectiveness surge within him, knowing that this extraordinary being is his truest companion. Chain, he believes, is what is filled with reverence. You are truly a vision of beauty and power. Problem is, I think I sound like a robot now. All of my eyes lighting up different colors right now. That's one of the things I wanted to happen. That way you could also see my emotion. All right. Oh god, it's only been 10 minutes surprisingly, although I've paused a lot of the time, or a good amount of the time. I'm trying to ask him. Okay, good. 
Let's see when Chris is studying the kaleidoscope of colors that dance within my eyes. Each hue tells a story. A window into the depths of his friends' emotions. A tender smile tugs at Rexy's lips as he marvels at the intricate tapestry of feelings woven into those lustrous orbs. Yeah, I can see him. He can from himself with his own eyes shining with affection. Your eyes are a, a canvas of emotion, Trayton, and I'm honored to bear witness to your ever changing hues. In this form, you raise your heart openly, allowing me to understand you on a profound level. Red Seat reaches out, gently pressing a claw on my arm of chest. This connection between us, it transcends mere friendship. Yeah, and what's even better is since I can't really get hurt in this form, you don't have to worry about protecting me as much. In fact, I can protect you. Because of my healing powers. There we go. I need to like actually. I think what I'll start doing is I need. I keep forgetting. Let's see what it says. I wonder if life washes over red at my words, followed by a deep sense of gratitude for, for so long he has carried the burden of safeguarding his dear friend. I was very good for potential dangers. To know that the tables may soon turn with my with me not capable of sharing Rexy fills him with a warmth that bonds us out of I don't know what that is. Oh train Rexy Mama's his voice. You stop using that word! Your, his voice thick with emotion. Stop using that one. Your thoughtfulness and consideration mean the world to me. Knowing that you would willingly assume the role of protector, not just for yourself, but for me as well. It touches my un... It touches my undead heart in ways I never thought possible. With a gentle word, Rexy encourages me to spread his wings. And then the way the sunlight catches the metallic sheen and casts a dazzling array of reflections across the surrounding landscape. Why did you say undead heart? Please tell me. Okay. That my magic didn't wear off from yesterday. Look at each other with a low rumble that resonates to his chest. Hear that, my friend, for your magical prowess has not diminished. Er, yeah. When I spoke of my undead heart, I merely employed a poetic flourish, acknowledging the depth of our bond and the transformative impact you've had on my existence. He paused to hear vulnerability creeping into his tone. In truth, prior to our encounters, I felt rather lifeless, a shell of my former self. But through our shared experiences and the strength of our friendship, I've begun to rediscover the joys and passions that once defined me. You, Trenton, have breathed new life into my being, and for that I'm eternally grateful. You've only raised me. Alright, guys. I just told Rexy that you've only raised me for one whole day, but you've been a really good guardian. Because he's only been raised me for a day, but he's always said, he acts like we've been friends. I guess technically, yeah, we have, because, again, I've had Rexy before. He was, he, before he became a zombie and bit me, I was still his owner. So I guess in some way, I told you if you raised me, you wouldn't regret it. You've got your old friend back, which is me, and you're cute of the zombie, because... Rexy's expression softens a warm glow emanating from his chest as he listens to my heartfelt words. He reaches out gently, clasping my hand in his own. 
you have been there with your praise chain. Such a short time you have brought more joy and fulfillment to my existence than I could have ever hoped for. Sweet houses. And yes, having you back as my dear friend is a gift beyond measure. His face turns completely to reflect on the journey that you've shared thus far. As for the case, I must admit that I find myself growing accustomed to this new aspect of my nature. Perhaps it's the influence of your optimism and resilience. I no longer view myself as simply a zombie. Instead, I embrace the unique qualities and strengths that come with the transformation, using them to enhance our adventures together. That's what I'm saying here. I think this thing gets confused, with, especially with the name being Zombie Rexy. I think it gets confused. But at the same time, hmm. Okay, Ms. Where do I go from here? Give me a sec.